Hello Power Users, Zbigniew Kukowski here and today we want to talk about upgrading the visibility of our Compose outputs from this when you see only outputs and you need to hover on each and every output you get to see whatever action it's coming from to this which is also outputs from Compose action so how we do it First of all, I have the flow in which I have to com compose. One is this, one is one is this. And in order to create uh, this output, I will need to create a JSON object inside my compose action. How to do it? We are using the curly brackets on, on front, then the double quota. We use the name we want to see instead of our outputs, then the uh, then we use the value which we have and this value for for me is an object which is holding the current item uh, because we are in the apply to each loop so uh, I want to test this flow and I want to hold the compose current item and then set to variable for whatever reasons and here when I create this I will then go to the expression. In the expression, I will write, write the outputs. I will use my compose name, which is compose2 in my example. Then I will use the, the JSON part I want to address. If it's not mandatory, then you will need to use the, the, the question mark. If not, then you can for, forget this. And then I will just use my name of the part I want to address. So this is correct name. If I click OK, as you can see, we will see the output, which is same as this one, but we will need to save and then reopen the flow in order to see correctly the correct name instead of the, the this ugly function. So this this is the step you will you need not to forget because it will drive you mad. Okay, so this is all. I hope this helped you. This helped also the whole bunch of people that will read your flows and, and ask themselves, what is the output of this? Then what is the output of this? It's really annoying. You can also in your compose action write a comment that you are using the JSON just for the visibility of your flow because they will uh, they will ask themselves why are you are using this. So you can tell them. Uh, in the comment section. Of course, some Compose aren't uh, needed if you are using them only for debugging. So unless you, the flow is really big, you may omit this, this part if it's only for for testing purposes. So yeah, that's it. Bignie Fukuski out. Hope that was helpful. If yes, you can also see my other videos about Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Platform as a whole, Power Automate Desktop, etc. See you later.